What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we are talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector. And we're going to look at a trigger for when an event is added, updated or deleted. So this trigger allows you to trigger a flow based on one of those three situations, one of those three scenarios. When an Outlook calendar event is either added, so created, updated, so you've made a change to it, or deleted, we can trigger the flow. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm here in Power Automate. I've got my uh, my connectors here, and we're going to choose the Office 365 Outlook connector. Then I'm given a list of triggers, and the one down here is when an event when an event is added, updated, or deleted v3. So this is the third version of this. The first parameter it's asking me for is the calendar ID. So this is the calendar which it wants to search through um, to find this thing happening. So which calendar do you want to monitor? So I have two calendars in my Outlook. I have birthdays and I have calendar. I'm going to choose the default calendar one for now. I also have some advanced options. So these are incoming days tracked and past days tracked. So what this is saying is um, I'm going to monitor a certain number of days in the future or in the past for something to be deleted or, or added or updated. And once, if, if those conditions are true, then we're going to trigger this flow. So at the moment, it's actually tracking anything in the next 300 days and anything in the past 50 days is going to trigger the flow if we add, update or delete something. So I'm going to leave these for default, but it may be worth considering um, ways to ways to use this. You may want to adjust those so that they're a bit more in line with what you're expecting. It could be something, for instance, where you know you'll have uh, two weeks worth of uh, appointments in your calendar, and you'll um, you want to know if something happens in those next two weeks, whereas in the next sort of like you know six months you're not too bothered about, but those initial two weeks are important. And again, the same, if you don't want to track anything in the future and you just want to look at things that are being updated in the past, you can configure this to do that as well. So we're just going to add a simple step to just show you how this is working. So we'll throw in a compose action. And in the compose action, we will just add the subject. So this is the, the subject of the event. And once we've done that, we will trigger this. So we'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll hit test there. Uh, and we can see it's now running. I can switch over to my calendar. So this is my Outlook.com uh, calendar. And on today's date, today's July 23rd, I can add an event. It's like a super cool event, bro. And I can leave everything else by default and hit save. That event's been created. And if I go to my flow, uh, we can see the flow is run successfully. And we can see that we've got that input there, which is really good. So, so we know this works. Uh, we can also test this to see if uh, it tracks the update as well. So we'll click on test again. We'll go back here and I will update the name to say, uh, do you know what? I don't like the bro at the end of that. So I'm just going to call it super cool event. And we're going to hit save. You see the event saved down there, a little toast. And then we go back to our flow. And if we are patient, uh, we should see the go green and we can see updates and it says now super cool about. But what happens when we delete it? And this is this is this is what I thought was really interesting. If I delete this flow, if I delete that event now, click on test again, and I go back to this event and I hit delete, click delete. Event is deleted, all good. We can wait for this to update. It may just take a moment because it's, it takes a little bit longer than the update and the add, uh, I found. Um, and we can see it's updated, and then we have this click for inputs. So what I actually saw is that although this triggers, this doesn't actually bring back any information because this is actually a post-event image. This isn't the pre-event image of, like, this is what it looked like before we triggered the flow. It's actually only triggered after it's been deleted, so it's triggered, but then it brings back no information. So it's it's one of the, the downsides of, of Power Automate is that there's no pre-event image. Uh, that would actually be a really cool feature to be able to see what was there before it was deleted, for instance. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. The deleted aspect of it is just going to trigger the flow. You're not really going to be able to get much information uh, about it th um, through here. 
So um, I hope this kind of explains this trigger. I kind of went into each each one of the three because I wanted to show you that uh, delete thing at the end because I thought that was actually really important. That you're not going to get anything because you're actually looking at the post image um, data, not the pre image data. So I hope this is useful. If you did find it useful, if you could drop a like on the video, uh, click that subscribe button, um, share it with a friend if you did find it useful, um, that would always be appreciated. And I'll see you next time.